G'day YouTube, just a quick video today with no webcam and the topic of this video will be how to input a BISS B -I -S -S, decryption key into a Octagon SF8008 set-top box. These set-top boxes here are notoriously difficult for being able to input BISS decryption keys into and I had been trying for months and months and months and seeing that a lot of people on all the satellite forums were having tr trouble getting BIS decryption working on these boxes too, but thanks to some help of some buddies of mine, I managed to figure it out. So yeah, that's what we'll be doing in this video today. So yeah, this is a Linux-based set-top box. Um, most of the Linux set-top boxes come with this cool web interface um, called Open Web IF, Open Web Interface. And yeah, it's a really, really cool way of like remotely controlling and administrating your set-top box, which is super cool. I, I love this thing. It's a really, really good box. Um, so basically what we're going to need is we're going to need a BIS encrypted satellite feed. So remember I told you guys in previous videos, feeds are like a private point-to-point -point link, which are sent via satellite of like a remote sporting event or something like that. So in, my, in this example, it, we've actually got a racing car um, uh, round going on here in my country at the moment. I'm not going to say which one, um, but we're going to be decrypting that today. So um, I've got the particular channel I want to decrypt is here. And if I attempt to open that channel, so I'll click that and we can see if I go to the current tab, I can see that, yep, my box is attempting to tune that transponder. I can actually go to the uh, capture screenshot tab and this is actually a live feed at one picture every second of my set-top boxes uh, HDMI output. So that's pretty cool. We can't watch live, but you can, you know, do things like going into the menu and stuff like that. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. And I've got like my little remote control here and I can control the box via this virtual remote control. But that's a tangent. What we really care about is the fact that I've tried to tune to this channel and nothing is showing up. Um, and that's because we actually need a decryption key to watch this feed. So I can just double check and try to reopen it again through the on-screen OSD. And we can see here that nothing's happening, right? So I can't watch this feed unless I get the decryption key. Well, guess what? I actually have the decryption key here. And I'm just going to restore that to its previous place. All right. We're going to get started with the tutorial now. So we're going to, this this part's really important, right? We need to do some setting up. So we, we have to tune to another channel, okay? So I'm going to do a dummy lock. I'm just going to choose anything, any channel. And I've just tuned my box to another channel. That's very important. And then we can just leave our box now. We can turn away from the web interface of that now. And... We're going to turn our attention to OS Cam. So OS Cam, I think it's called OS Cam or OS Cam, is like a con conditional access toolkit, which is included on most set-top boxes. If you're looking for the link to get to OS Cam web interface, you can always get to it by this link right here. So I'm going to turn my attention to OS Cam web interface now. We're going to go to the Readers tab. And we're just going to confirm that emulator is actually active. Uh, if it's saying offline, this symbol here will be green. And you just click that symbol and it will turn into a red off button. And then this should change to active. So just make sure you've done that. Now, this is very, very important. We need to restart OzCam before we attempt to enter the key. That's very important. Um, for some reason, if you don't, Restart OzCam and you try to tune to the channel to grab the information we need to input the BIS key, it just won't work. So the reason we're restarting it is it will actually, when we try to tune the channel, it will give us the information we need to input the BIS key. So I'll show you that very shortly. Okay. So we'll go to the live log tab now. And this is just showing us like all the stuff going on with our set top box. So it's like a log. Um, we're going to go, I'm going to try and tune the BIS encrypted file now. Ah, oh, sorry, BIS encrypted uh, satellite feed. 
Uh, where am I? We'll go to providers, down to, which is, and then I click. And then we see a whole heap of data filling up this uh, log window now. So what we're specifically looking for is this line right here. And it says trying to descramble PID 0, conditional access ID 2600. Conditional access 2600 is the identifier of BIS encryption, I believe. So that's just a confirmation that what we are trying to watch is definitely BIS encrypted. So we can ignore all these lines here, key not found, key not found. The line we care about is right here. So I'm going to copy uh, the log is moving very quickly. Uh, we need to be fast, otherwise... Okay, I'm going to copy this line here, hopefully before it scrolls. Okay, cool. So that's the line we care about, right? Starts with F, has a few hex digits, heap of zeros, and some Xs. So we're going to copy that to our clipboard. I think I already did it, but I'll just do it again. Now we need to go back up to the top of OSCAM where all the tabs are. We're going to go, we're going to click on files. We're going to go other files. I'm going to click OSCAM.key. And then I'm going to paste the string that we just copied from the live log tab and paste it into this softcam key. So what we're doing here is we're actually live editing files on the Linux set top box. So instead of doing it via FTP or through the terminal, we can just do it directly through OSCAM, which is really cool. These Linux enabled set top boxes are another level. They're really, really fun to play with if you like tinkering with stuff. Um, so yeah, just make sure the line starts with F. So if you've got other text before the F, make sure you delete all that. And then I'm going to select all the text after the semicolon, and then I'm going to delete that because we don't really care about that. You can leave it there if you want. I just delete it to keep the file nice and tidy. So all these X's here, that's the 64-bit decryption key that we need to enter. So I've actually got that here. I'm, I'm going to have to blur this out in post-production for you guys. But yeah, what I'm doing is I'm just removing all the X's and then I'm placing the found decryption key. And then we're going to scroll down to the bottom and hit the save button. And then we can see here we've got a confirmation that's soft softcam.key is saved. So we're going to turn our attention to the top of OSCAM again, where all the tabs are at the top. We're going to go to restart. I'm going to hit the restart button, and then we just need to wait another 10 seconds for that for the actual OSCAM engine inside the box to restart. And then if I go to the live log tab again, we should get a message saying key found. And that's a good sign. Oh yeah, we'll get this uh, this thing here saying DVB API AU, and then we'll get this is kind of these two lines here are kind of like the confirmation that yep, sweet, I've got I know how to decode this information now because I have the decryption key. So if I go back to my Octagon's set top boxes uh, screen, there we have it. That is the racing event going on this weekend in Australia, being actively decrypted by my box. Um, yeah, as I said before, what I'm viewing here in this web interface is exactly what's coming out of my HDMI output of the box. I, I can just view it every one, uh, one picture every one second. So yeah, that's really cool. Um, I can go to, I think it's the blue button on your remote control. Um, I can go to the soft cam menu uh, I can go to soft cam settings. This is just playing around in the box now. The tutorial is mostly over. And yeah, we can see here that uh, I am getting a successful decryption here. And this is the relevant information. Not that you guys can see it, but yeah, if you want to go and have a look at that for yourself, feel free. So yeah, that's really all I've got for today. Um, a lot of people had the same issue as me with this, um, putting BIS keys in this box. But yeah, hopefully this helps you, helps those people attempt to do the same thing if not this is just being archived for my own purposes so yeah thanks very much for watching i'll catch us all later bye